I'm just gonna preface this video by saying that this blazer is hot. However, I'm uh, definitely feeling myself in it, so uh, it's worth it. Hey guys! So a little while ago, I made a video talking about the Umbrella Academy and my thoughts and the characters and things like that, my opinions. I'm gonna link that video down in the description below. Go and watch it, but only after you have fully watched seasons one and two of the amazing show that is the Umbrella Academy. I am just grossly obsessed with it. It's become my new obsession and I absolutely love it. So only watch my video if you've seen both seasons one and two of the show because otherwise you're just asking for spoilers. Anyways, in my mind, I did things a little bit backwards. So normally I'll read a novel before I watch the film adaption of said novel, or I'll read a manga before I watch the anime. For those who don't know, the Umbrella Academy Netflix show is actually an adaption of Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba's graphic novel series of the same name. So I figured, why not take a look at the source material that brought my now all-time favorite show to life. I have here the first two Umbrella Academy graphic novels, so Apocalypse Suite and Dallas. I did order all three, so Hotel Oblivion is on its way just shipping delays and stuff, so I haven't gotten it yet, but I did order all three, so it is on its way. Now, just a quick side note here, I usually read manga and novels. I'm a connoisseur of manga and novels. That's usually, you know, what I read. I have a huge cupboard full of manga. I have so many books on this shelf and that shelf there, so that's usually what I read. However, I am not at all afraid to try new things and look into new things, especially when it comes to Umbrella Academy. So I haven't even cracked open either of these guys yet. Obviously, we're going to start off with the first one, which is uh, Apocalypse Suite here. So um, yeah, let's let's take a look. Now obviously I'm not going to read the entire graphic novel here on camera because I would rather just go off camera, relax on my couch, read it at my own pace, things like that. But uh, I am a few pages in and uh, looking at the art styling, it's something that I was not um, expecting, but I really do enjoy it. It's really unique and uh, something that I haven't seen before, so I'm excited to see where this graphic novel goes and then continue on to Dallas and then continue on to Hotel Oblivion. I am going to binge the hell out of these graphic novels, just letting you know. And um, I'm excited to see how the graphic novels transition into the show that I know and love. So yeah, maybe they, you know, altered events that occurred at the graphic novel to, you know, work better for the Netflix show. I'm just, I'm excited to see where this goes. So I'm excited to read them. I'm really excited. I keep saying excited. Shut the hell up, bitch! Now I have always been a fan of Gerard Way and My Chemical Romance. The last couple of years of elementary school and then all the way throughout high school, I would always listen to MCR. I was obsessed and I've been listening to a lot more MCR recently because of Gerard Way's creation, The Umbrella Academy, and uh, I feel like I've been going back in time. <laughs> I'm not trying to use this as a segue to be cheesy, I swear to God. I feel like I'm going through a time vortex back to when I was between the ages of 12 and 16. Like that's how it feels when I'm listening to MCR, but it's so, it's so good and it's so much fun. And it reminds me of all the feelings that I used to feel when I, heard MCR for the first time and it's been great. It's been like a freaking rebirth. It's awesome. <laughs> Speaking of MCR, Mr. Aiden Gallagher, who plays number five on the Umbrella Academy, said in one of his more recent videos, I believe it was his Collapser unboxing video, um, he talked about how there's a really dope bass fill in Na 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 by Mikey Way, uh, who's the bassist for MCR, Gerard Way's brother. Um, Aiden, if you're ever watching this video, huge fan. I went to the trouble of looking up that bass fill and yes, it was worth it and it is dope and Na 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 has been my jam for the last like two and a half weeks. I just, I've been obsessed with it. Black Parade, Helena, Teenagers, Na Na Na, just overflow of MCR lately so it, it's it's been a lot of fun. 
actually, speaking of Aiden, and I know that by doing this, I'm totally side noting again, which at the end of the day, sorry, but it's my video, I can do as I please. But his YouTube channel recently just hit 1 million subscribers, so I just wanted to say personally, congratulations, Aiden. You truly do deserve it. You're a phenomenal human being. You do absolutely phenomenal work. And as a fan, I just wanted to say congratulations. That's a huge milestone. And um, yeah, keep up the good work and just continue on because you make great videos and I know for someone like me, they make me smile. And if I'm having a really crappy day and I watch one of your videos, um, it helps. So thank you. If you guys ever want to check out Aiden's channel, I'm actually going to link it down in the description below and I'm also going to link it on the end card of my video. So um, if you want to check them out, check them out. As for me and my final thoughts on the Umbrella Academy graphic novels, well, you guys are just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna read all the graphic novels and then my plan is to come back and film a follow-up video or an update video and uh, give you guys my final opinion on the graphic novels. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the videos you see here and make sure you're clicking the little bell icon down below so you're not missing notifications for when I do upload videos to this channel. Keep being awesome, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.